Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One. November the 28th, year 2016, Cyber Monday. I made some modifications to the strength indicator. Yeah, the advanced alien civilization. Yeah, I know the joke's probably getting kind of old, but I guess I'm going to be stuck with it now. Um, sometimes those jokes backfire, right? So, what have I done? Well, the original strength indicator just had this little display, and one of my mods was to decide um, whether or not you should be buying or selling a particular pair based on its strength. So here you take the uh, US dollar, and you subtract the yen from it, and it, since it's negative, then it means you want to sell it. And if it was positive, you want to buy it because the yen is stronger. And since the yen is the quote currency in this case, and the dollar is the base currency, it's base minus quote. So if it's negative, then you want to sell it. Okay, and this is based on the daily data. In other words, we're going to look at this is the data from today. So the little indicators I wrote down here, these strengths are based on the current time period, in this case M5. But if you switch it over to the day, as soon as it updates, it should be the same. Because see here we've got 6.0. 5.3 but we haven't had a tick and so that should update and everything should be the same so in this case we just have the lines and you can see we've got one three five seven and nine just to see and we had a ticket didn't update that's interesting I'll have to check that out wonder why that's different so back to it and then here I turn it to a histogram based on this number so here we've got a minus 0.7 and then here all we're doing is, is we're, it's just either it's either a plus or a minus so you can look at it to say what whether or not you want to buy it or sell it now the main thing about this indicator is it's best to use it as a selection tool in other words what pair to trade and when to trade it let me just double check something here and the currency strength okay we've got the refresh okay so in this case based on this indicator you'd want to look at the um, I think it's the pound Canadian if that pair is available to trade because this is the strongest so you want to buy this currency sell this so maybe you take the top two you want to buy and the bottom two you want to sell so in this case, or maybe you'll take all of the Canadian pairs except the ones against the stronger currency and you buy them. So some people like to see this chart so when they cross, they'll think, okay, now I will buy the yen right here on this cross. Or you can just look at when it changes. But what I found to work to use this in the best way is I usually switch to the M15 time frame and what I do is I'll look down here and it was and I usually don't have these two so it goes from green to red I want this bar to close this bar has to close and then when the next bar opens then I'll take the short and somebody might go, well, you're doing this in hindsight. So as you see here, when this when this green bar closed, you take the long. So let's just look at some other pair. Uh, OK. 
Okay, let's just look at the euro. Okay, so right here the euro says when this bar closes, buy. But I don't have enough time, I don't think, you know, 10 minutes. Yeah, I don't have enough time left in this video to actually put a trade on based on this. Um, so you can see it. But if this were to close green, then this would be signaling a buy because it switched from red to green. So you want this to close because this could wind up staying red. And once again, we can go back to the daily and see we've got Euro 3, 4, we've got USD 4.6. So let me go back to the yen because that was really bothering me and I thought it had to do with a tick. Let's see if it goes back. USD 46, JPY 53. Uh, there's something goofy going on in there. I might just have to look at it and see why the calculation's different on the yen. It's the same code, so maybe I got something. A little goofed up inside the indicator, but that's <laughs> that's funny because I don't know why it would do that. You could also use the hour time frame if you want it. 15 seems to be just about the right. 5 is too quick, and sometimes with an hour, um, you miss too much. So like right here, see it closed green, and then that one would have paid off. But sometimes, let's see, this one closed green. That would have paid off. But you see here, this one closed green. That one would have paid off, but it was a, a small pay. And then once again here, that closed green. And I think you would have probably had to scratch that trade. So, But you can use whatever combination works best for you. So I'll put those indicators... I believe uh, you guys know where I post my indicators. I'll post those up um, and then you can go ahead and uh, download them. And hopefully this will help you. But once again, uh, the strength indicator is really used more as picking which pairs to trade in what direction. Okay. And I just made this trigger because I just saw how it seemed to work and this is uh, one way I trade it when it switches and then it holds that color to the end of the bar then I can get in but like I said my time frame my preference is the M15 so I hope uh, maybe you've learned something maybe um, You'll get to use these indicators and make some pips. And let me know what you think. And um, as always, this is, uh, you know, just my opinion as a trader. Um, I don't have any stats to back this up. I, I don't even know if I can run a frequency distribution on this. I probably could just to see what happens. But it might be a little uh, intense. And so... I don't think that's going to be anytime, coming anytime soon. I got a lot of other things to work on. So anyway, fellow traders, as always, it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. The Rumpled One, signing out.